Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you know that I don't do mining. And I don't even know that you need to take the raw ores to the refinery to refine first before you can sell them at TDD. I think one major reason is that before 3.19, there is only one best way, as far as I know, to do mining. Get your lens and mining heads. If you are using a prospector, get a search, then fly to Lyria or Halo, scan for Quant. And that's it. Mostly it's there for the money, not for the fun, at least not for me. But thanks to CIG's almost complete mining overhaul in 3.19, Star Citizen Mining has been made great and fun again. Almost every aspect of mining has been changed. From mining heads, specs, to mining modules, to mining resources, types, and prices. So in this series, I will be tapped into Star Citizen mining in detail. And in this video, I will be sharing the detailed changes to those mining heads in 3.19. If this is helpful, please do like and subscribe. All right. Now, let's get started. All right, so the first mining has is the Arbor size one for the prospector. The main advantage for this laser mining head is that uh, the laser found favor among industrial and solo operations for balancing speed and safety, while also featuring a special filtration system that reduces the amount of inert materials collected. Let's take a look at the specs. The range for this laser hat is between 60 meters to 180 meters. In 3.19, they've changed one major aspect of all the mining laser hat. They added a minimum and maximum laser power to it. So the minimum power for this laser hat is 189 and the maximum power is 1890. Uh, I think the minimum power is exactly 10% of the maximum power. And the extraction power is 1,850. The module slots is one, which means you can only put one sub-module to this mining head. The resistance is 25%. Uh, if you don't know what resistance is, simple definition is how hard this rock it is for the mining laser to crack it. So the higher the resistance, the longer and harder it is for this mining head to crack it. And instability is negative 35%. So the simple definition for instability is the higher the instability, the faster this rock tends to overload and explode. So basically, the higher the instability, the more dangerous it is to crack it. The more negative the number, the more stable this laser mining head is. Next spec is the optimal charge window size, which is 40%. The simple definition for the optimal charge window size is basically the green bar. Uh, if you do hand mining or ship mining, whatever mining you do, you will know there is a green bar. Once you reach that green bar, you have to fill that green bar for this rock to crack. So it's very easy. I think everyone by now should know it. So basically that's how big that green bar is. That's what the definition for the optimal charge window. Next spec, inert materials, negative 30%, which means when you extract those cracked rocks, you will have less than 30% of inert materials getting extracted from that rock. Okay, so that's the specs for the Arbor Mining Head 1. This mining head is a stock mining head for your prospector. So you cannot buy them from anywhere and uh, you cannot sell them. You can try to sell them, but the price is zero. All right, so as we have said, there is one module slot for this mining head. So we are going to try a sub-module. There we go, I bought a lot of search modules here. So we can drag one sub-module out. I'm not gonna explain the sub-modules. This will be in the next video. So I'm just gonna use this to uh, to test this. You can see there is one little sub-module slot over here. There we go. Perfect. So we just put a surge module for this uh, Arbor size 1 mining head for the prospector. 
All right, so this is the Arbor Mining Head Size 2 for the Argo Mo. And I'm not going to read the descriptions. It's the same as the Size 1, but uh, in a little bit of different specs because this is Size 2. Uh, by the way, you can fit three Size 2 Mining Heads on the Argo Mo. One in the front and two uh, for each of the, the wings, let's say. Also, I don't know if this is new for 3.19. Apparently, if I drag one out, apparently you can put either size 1 or size 2 mining heads for the Argo Mo. I don't know if before 3.19, if you can only put size 2 for the Argo Mo, but as you can see, main turret, size 1, size 2. So basically, you can put either size 1 or size 2 mining heads for the Argo Mo. So that gives you a lot more options. You can put three size 1 mining heads for the Argo Mo and do some uh, multi-crew mining if you like some of the size 1 mining head specs. So that's good. If this is new, that's a good addition for it. All right, now let's take a look at the specs. So for the size 2 Arbor mining heads, the optimal range is between 90 meters to 270 meters. The minimum power is 480, maximum power is 2400. Basically, the minimum power is 20% of the maximum power. The extraction power is 2590, and module slots, you have two. Resistance is 25%. Instability is negative 35%. So basically the resistance and instability is same as uh, size one of this mining head. So is the optimal charge window, which is 40%, but the inert material extraction is minus 40%. I think the size one uh, arbor is minus 30%, and this one is minus 40%. So that's good. And because this is a stock mining hat, the price is zero to sell, and you cannot buy them from anywhere else. And let's try to put some uh, sub-module on it. Let's drag two search module out. There we go. So two module slots, you can see. And let's put it. There we go. One. So there is a certain way to do the search module. I think, yeah, this is the right way. So you can see once it's a close, and then you just push it over there. There we go. So I just put two search modules for the Arbor size two mining laser. Very nice. It's even more powerful now. All right, guys. So as I was editing this video, a new PTU patch just dropped. As you can see, I put the date and the version of this patch here. And in the patch note, it says re-edit Arbor size 1 and size 2 mining head variants to shopping locations. So we were just talking about that we cannot buy or sell the stock mining hat and they just added this to shop locations. So, so I'm making a correction right away here and now let's go to the shop to take a look at the price. So the price for the Arbor 1 and Arbor 2 is only 1.4k. Only 1,400 and the sales price is 780 AUEC. I am not so sure. Is this intended because this is a stock money hat or CIG simply forgot to put a zero to it because they do have a habit of forgetting a zero to things, right? So we'll wait and see uh, when 3.19 goes live. See if the price is 14k or 1.4k. And also the location for this Arbor 1 and Arbor 2. This one is at Lorville, Tammy and Sons. I have not researched all the other locations so i cannot tell you it's exactly where they are as the other mining heads at least we know 10 million cents you can buy the stock mining heads size one and size two all right let's move to the next one so this is the mining head that everyone is familiar with the lincent mining head size one great cat classifies the lincent mining head one as a support laser best utilized when mining with others well, the mining laser's small optimal charge window size means precision is key. The Lincent Mining Head 1 excels at reducing the amount of inert materials collected by the extraction laser. For mining crews, 
it is an ideal support laser to use alongside other lasers. All right, so that's the description. Looks like this is a support laser. So let's take a look at the specs. The range for this uh, Lensent 1 is between 30 meters to 90 meters. Power range. Minimum power is 504. Maximum power is 2000. 520. So minimum power is 20% of the maximum power. Extraction power is 1850. Same as the Arbor Mining Head 1. Resistance, I have no data for that. Instability is negative 10%. Optimal charge rate is 40%. Okay, so the simple definition to understand optimal charge rate is how quickly it fractures once you're in the green zone. So basically, once you reach the green zone and how fast you fill the green zone bar. So how fast you can fracture once you're in the green zone. So more positive the number means faster it is to crack that rock so more positive the better and for this one the optimal charge rate is 40 percent and the optimal charge window is negative 60 percent so you gain some and you lose some for the arbor mining head one the optimal charge window is 40 percent but there is no extra optimal charge rate but for this one you gain a 40 percent of optimal charge rate but you lose to a negative 60% of optimal charge window. Inert materials, which is the same as Arbor size one, is negative 30%. The purchase price for this mining laser is 23,500 AUEC, and the sales price is 12,677 AUEC. And you can purchase and sell this mining laser at the following locations. Hurl L2, Cruel L1, Arc L1, Arc L2, Arc L4, Mac L1, Mac L2, Tammy's and Sons at Lorville, Dumper Steeple at Port Alasar, and Shubin Interstellar at New Babbage. Oops, did I forget the module slot? The module slot for this mining hat is one. So you can only attach one sub-module to it. I'm not going to do it. I did it in the previous mining head, so I'm not going to do that. All right, next mining head. All right, this one is a size 2 version of the Linson mining head. The same description as the size 1. The optimal range is between 45 meters to 135 meters. Minimum power for this mining head is 900 and maximum power is 3600. So the minimum power is 25% of the maximum power. Extraction power is 2590. The module slots, you have two for this mining head. Resistance, there is no data, which means there is no positive added value or negative added value. Instability, negative 10%. Optimal charge rate, 40%. Optimal charge window, negative 60%. So for these three specs, they're all the same as a size 1 mining head. The inert material extraction deduction rate, let's say, is negative 40%. The size 1 is negative 30%. So the price, both for purchase price and sales price, is same as a size 1 mining head. I don't know why size 2 is same as size 1 mining head. I think it should be more expensive, right? But it's same as size 1 mining head. The purchase price is 23,500 AUC and the sales price is 12,677 AUC. The place which you can buy and sell this mining head is Hurl L1, Mac L1, Mac L5, Tammy Essence at Lorville, Dumper Depot at Grimhex, Dumper Depot at Area 18, and Shubin Interstellar at New Babbage. Next mining head is the Hofstede 1. And this mining head already looks different. You can see, it actually looks pretty cool. The Hofstede 1 was designed with a patented crystal lattice structure that dampens a deposit natural resistance while mining and gathers less inner materials when extracting. Most effective at short and medium range. An accompanying increase in instability means the laser should be managed carefully. Okay, so you give some, you take some. Let's take a look at the specs then. The 
the minimum range for this laser is 45 meters and the maximum range is 135 meters. The minimum power is, ooh, is only 105. The maximum power is 2100. So the minimum power is only 5% of the maximum power. And the extraction power is 1,295. The module slots, one. Resistance, you have a negative 30%. And instability, you have a positive 10%. Optimal charge rate, you have a 20% gain. Optimal charge window, you also have a 60% gain. Inert materials, you have negative 30%. Okay, so according to these specs, this laser mining hat has less power, less range, but uh, low resistance. So re you have a negative 30% of resistance gain, but you do gain 10% more instability. You have a uh, well, little bit of gain for optimal charge rate, but a lot of gain for optimal charge window. That's good. The purchase price for this mining hat is 12000 750 and the sales price for this mining head is 6878 the places where you can buy and sell this mining hat are at Hurl L1, Kuro L1, Mac L5, Tammy and Sons at Lorville, Dumpers Depot at Port Alisar, Dumpers Depot at Area 18, and Shuban Interstellar at New Babbage. Okay, so this is a size 2 of the Hofstad mining hat, and I really dig the look of this mining hat. Alright, specs. Minimum range, 60 meters, and maximum range is 180 meters. Minimum power is 336, maximum power is 3360. So minimum power is 10% of the maximum power. Extraction power, same as size 1, 1295. Module slots, 2. Resistance, negative 30%, same as size 1. Instability, 10%, same as size 1. Optimal charge rate, 20%, same as size 1. Optimal charge window, 60%, same as size 1. Inert materials, negative 40%, size 1 is minus 30%. Purchase price, same as size 1, 12,750 AUEC. Sale price, same as size 1, 6,878. Locations, where you can purchase and sell. Hurl L2, Arc L1, Arc L2, Arc L4, Mike L1, Mike L2, Tammy and Sons at Lorville, Dumpers Depot at Port Alisar, Dumpers Depot at Grim Hex, and Shuban Interstellar at New Babbage. All right, the next type of mining head is the Klein size 1 mining head. Um, this mining head looks a little bit cheap, not gonna lie. It's just a uh, personal feeling. Yeah, it looks quite cheap. Or I should say, it looks very simple. Shuban designed the Klein size 1 to generate a powerful laser that makes mining faster. This power incurs additional risk by boosting a laser's instability, but if used correctly, Klein size 1 can quickly reap rewards for the careful miner. Oh, okay. So, actually, this mining hat is more powerful. It gives me a feeling of Drake ships. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's take a look at the specs. The minimum range is 45 meters. The maximum range is 135 meters. Minimum power is 378 and maximum power is 2220. The minimum power is 17% of the maximum power. Extraction power is 2220. Module slot, you have none. You have no module slot because it's powerful enough. So you do not need to put any module for it. So resistance, you have a negative 45% gain of a resistance. That's good. Instability, you have a positive 35% instability gain. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, the optimal charge rate, you don't have any positive nor negative gain. The optimal charge window, you have a 20% gain. Inert materials, you have negative 30%. Okay, so basically you gain a lot of negative resistance at the cost of instability. So, gives and takes. The price for this mining hat is quite cheap actually. The purchase price is only 10150 The sales price is 5475 Okay, the locations 
where you can buy this mining hat is Hurl L1, Hurl L2, Cruel L1, Arc L1, Arc L2, Arc L4, Mac L1, Mac L2, Mac L5, Tammy Essence at Lorville, Dumper Steeple at Grim Hex, Dumper Steeple at Era 18, and Shubin Interstellar New of New Babbage. Wow, that's a lot of places you can buy this mining hat. All right, um, I feel like this mining hat should be designed by Drake. Not gonna lie. Do you see duct tapes around here? Maybe. You see that yellow thing over here? Maybe it's duct tapes. But hey, uh, you gain power at the cost of instability. Your choice. Let's take a look at the size 2. This is a Klein size 2 mining laser. Let's go to the specs. Minimum range 60 meters, maximum range 180 meters. Minimum power is ooh, 720. Maximum power is 3600. So minimum power is 20% of the maximum power. The extraction power is 2775. Module slots. Okay, so the size 2, they give you one module slot. So you can make it even more powerful. The resistance, same as size 1, you have a negative 45% deduction. For resistance, instability, same as S1, you gain 35% of instability. Optimal charge rate, no gain, no loss. Optimal charge window, same as S1, 20%. Inert materials, you have negative 40%. Purchase price, same as S1, 10,150. Sales price, 5,475. Places that you can purchase this mining hat actually is exactly same as says one Hurl L1, Hurl L2, Kuro L1, Arc L1, Arc L2, Arc L4, Mac L1, Mac L2, Mac L5, Tammy Essence at Lorville, Dumper's Depot at Grim Hacks, Dumper's Depot at Era 18, and Shubin's Interstellar at New Babbage. Okay, next mining hat. So this is the next type of uh, mining hat. It's called Impact. This is the size one of the Impact. And this mining hat already looks different. It looks more heavy in armor. It's like you can see those armor plates that protects the mining hat itself. So it's definitely not like the Drake. I mean, not the Drake, but yeah, you know what I mean. That mining hat, the Klein one. Let's uh, take a look at the descriptions. So the Impact one excels in a variety of mining situations. Okay, special focus lenses make it easier to work a deposit by stabilizing the laser and increasing the optimal charge window. All right, that's good. There are drawbacks, including increased deposit resistance and a slower feeling optimal charge window. Okay, I think a slower feeling optimal charge window means a slower optimal charge rate, which means it fills the window slower. But third, my concern also provided two module slots to allow miners to better customize a laser to the task at hand. Oh, okay, so this mining hat, size one mining hat, has two extra module slots so you can put different modules to mitigate or compensate the drawbacks and to do uh perform the task whatever you want to do to perform it better depends on your situation definitely this is a better mining hat i think uh just by reading it all right let's take a look at the specs so minimum range is 45 meters maximum range is 135 meters minimal power is 420 maximum power is 2100 so the minimum power is 20 percent of the maximum power extraction power is 2775 module slots too resistance you have a 10% of uh, resistance gain, which is not good, but you do have a minus 10% of instability gain. You have a minus 40% of optimal charge rate gain. Wow, that's a lot. But you do have a optimal charge window gain of 20%. And inert material, you have a negative 30%. So as the description said, you do have a little bit of a resistance gain, which is not good, and a little bit of optimal charge window gain, which is good, and takes and gives. But you have two extra module slots for the size one mining hat, and you can use that for good purposes. That's great. However, all those advantages come at a cost. Look at the price for this thing, the purchase price, 
for Impact One is 57,750 AUEC. The sales price is 31,153 AUEC. And the places you can get it is at Arkel 1, Arkel 2, Arkel 4, Michael 5, Tammy Essence at Lorville, Dumpers Depot at Port Alisar, Dumpers Depot at Grim Hex, Dumpers Depot at Area 18, and Shubin Interstellar at New Babbage. Lots of places to get it, but quite expensive, actually. All right, let's uh, take a look at the size 2 of this mining head. All right, this is Impact 2, size 2 of the Impact mining head. Specs, minimum range is 60 meters. Maximum range is 180 meters. Minimum power is 840. Maximum power is 3360. Minimum power is 25% of the maximum power. Extraction power, 3145. But module slots, you have three module slots. Oh my goodness. Resistance, same as size one. You have a 10% of resistance gain. Instability, you have a negative 10% of instability gain. Optimal charge rate, same as size one. You have a negative 40% of optimal charge rate, which means you will be cracking those rocks slower, much slower because you have a negative 40%. Optimal charge window, you have a 20% gain. And inert materials, you have a negative 40%. The size 1 is negative 30%. Purchase price for the Impact 2 is 50,750 AUEC. Sales price is 31,153 AUEC. Places you can buy and sell this mining hat are at Hero L1, Hero L2, Kuro L1, Tammy and Sons at Lorville, Dumpers Depot at Area 18, and Shubin Interstellar at New Babbage. Okay, so this is the last type of uh, mining laser head, and this is called Helix, but it looks exactly the same as the Impact. This is a size 1 of the Helix. Let's take a look at the description. To some, the effective use of the Helix 1 has become a sign of a true mining professional. Thermite concern gives the laser impressive power that it can bypass a deposit's resistance, but also requires precision handling to hit the optimal charge window. Best deployed at close range. Helix 1 features two module slots, so miners can tailor the laser to their liking. Oh wow, I've heard many many good things by that short description. Okay, let's take a look at the specs. So the minimum range is 15 meters and maximum range is 45 meters. Definitely short range laser. Minimum power is 630 and maximum power is 3150. That's pretty good. The minimum power is at 20% of the maximum power. The extraction power is 1850. But you have two sub-module slots for this size 1 laser head. Wow, that's good. Resistance. You have a negative 30% of resistance gain, which is really good. Instability, we don't have any gain nor loss. Optimal charge rate, no gain nor loss. But optimal charge window, we do have a negative 40% loss, which means the optimal charge window, the green bar, is going to be really narrow. That's why it says precision is required. So you trade resistance, you trade the laser power for precision, and the inert material is negative 30%. But you have two module slots. You definitely can take and must take advantage of those two module slots to mitigate and compensate for the drawbacks. But the advantage is great. However, this comes at even greater price. Look at the price for this thing. The purchase price is 108,000 AUEC. Yes, 108K. The sales price is 58,261 AUEC. The places where you can buy and sell this mining hat is at Hero L2, Kuro L1, Arc L2, Mike L1, Mac L2, Tammy and Sons at Lorville, Dumpers Depot at Port Alisar, Dumpers Depot at Grim Hex, Dumpers Depot at Area 18, and Shubin Interstellar at New Babbage. All right, Helix 2. Specs. Minimum range is 30 meters. Maximum range is 90 meters. Yes, it's a uh, short range even for a size 2. 
of the laser mining head. The minimum power is, wow, 1,020. Maximum power is 4,080. And the minimum power is 25% of the maximum power. I think so far this mining head is the most powerful mining head according to the minimum and maximum power specs. Extraction power is also pretty good, 2,590. And you have three module slots for this one. Resistance, same as S1, you have a negative 30% gain. Instability and optimal charge rate, no data, which means there's no gain, no loss. Optimal charge window, you do have a negative 40% loss, which is same as uh, size 1. And inert materials, same as size 1, you have a negative 30%. So for the power of this thing and for the three module slots of this mining hat, come at a great cost. Purchase price, 108k. AUEC. Sales price 58,261 AUEC. The places you can buy and sell this mining hat are at Her L1, Kuro L1, Michael L1, Michael L2, Michael L5, Tamiya Sands at Lorville, Dumpers Depot at Area 18, and Shubin Interstellar at New Babbage. Wow! <laughs> We did it! Um, that's all the mining heads and the specs and comparisons for this. So you can see a lot of those mining heads will have the sub-module slots. So in my next video of this series, I will be talking about all the sub-modules for the mining heads. Once we know the advantage and disadvantages of the mining heads as well as those sub-modules, it will build the basic knowledge foundation for your Star Citizen mining career. So stay tuned and thanks for watching guys. I hope this video is helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.